Okay, so today's video is on ampacity. Now, yesterday we talked about adjustable speed drive systems, and that was a simple definition that not everyone really needs to know. Uh, ampacity is a complex definition that every electrician has to know and know well. So, the definition of ampacity is the amount of current measured in amperes that a conductor can carry continuously under the conditions of use without exceeding its temperature rating. And really, we need to go through this item by item because there's a lot there in the definition. So, the amount of current measured in amperes. That's pretty simple, right? Ampacity is measured in amps. Uh, that a conductor can carry continuously, so forever. There's not a three-hour limitation. If I have an, an ampacity of 30 amps or 100 amps, that means that I can carry 30 amps on that wire forever. It's not how long it can carry, you know, it, it's not how much current it can carry for three hours or two hours or, or 10, it, it's forever. So if it says 30 amps, that means you can put 30 amps on it all day long. Under the conditions of use. Well, what are the conditions of use? If we look at table at section 310.16, it actually tells us the conditions of use that the ampacities in table 310.16 are based on. Conductors rated zero to 2000 volts, conductors rated 60, 75, or 90 degrees, wiring in an 86 degree F ambient temperature, not more than three current carrying conductors. And really it's those last two that I wanna focus on. Those are both conditions of use, right? 86 degree ambient temperature. If you're not in an 86 degree ambient temperature, then the table ampacity in 310.16 is no longer accurate because we changed the conditions of use. Same thing with item four not more than three current carrying conductors. If you have more than three current carrying conductors, then you no longer fall under the conditions of use specified in table 310.16. And again, we would have to apply an ampacity adjustment. So we have ambient temperature that we need to concern ourselves with. And if it's not 86 degrees F, then we have to apply a temperature correction factor. We also have the amount of adjacent load carrying conductors. If it's more than three, then we have to apply an ampacity adjustment. Now, I did a video earlier, and perhaps I'll try to link to it, that covers uh, what is and what is not a current carrying conductor because it's, it's not quite as simple as just saying that, you know, every wire that's not green is a current carrying conductor. That's really not accurate. So I'll link to the video. Uh, but if I have more than three current carrying conductors, or if I'm in an ambient temperature that's not 86 degrees F, then I have changed the conditions of use, and I have to adjust the ampacity. If I keep reading, it says without exceeding its temperature rating. So if I put 35 amps of current on a conductor that only has an ampacity of 30 amps, what's going to happen to that conductor? Well, we're exceeding its temperature rating. Right? It would, if I have an ampacity of 30 amps based on an 86 degree ambient temperature and three current carrying conductors in a raceway, and I say, okay, 30 amps is the 90 degree ampacity, because it's THHN. Well, what if I put 35 amps on it? Well, then it's going to be operating at greater than 90 degrees C. So what happens then? Does the wire melt? I mean, does the copper actually deform? Well, probably not. I mean, the, the melting point of copper is extraordinarily high. That's why we use it. Unfortunately, the melting point of the insulation is not nearly as high. So when I exceed the ampacity of a conductor, I'm going to have a temperature, uh, I'm going to have a, an insulation failure, right? So that's the last part of the definition. So again, the amount of current measured in amperes that a conductor can carry forever under the conditions of use without exceeding its temperature rating. Uh, there are some other conditions of use that we need to consider, and that would include things like thermal insulation, the ability for a conductor to safely dissipate heat. That is a condition of use. If you go to 320.80 or 330.80 or 334.80 or uh, ultimately 338.15 uh, B2A, I think it is, um, for SE cable, all of those talk about installing cables in thermal insulation. And they might say, listen, MC cable or NM cable, they have to be constructed of 90 degree conductors, 
but if you install them in thermal insulation and there's multiple wires touching each other, then we might have to treat them as though they're only a 60 degree conductor. Well, why is that? Well, that is a condition of use, isn't it? We've changed the conditions of use. We've, we've changed its ability to dissipate heat. So the ampacity is the amount of current that a conductor can carry forever under the specified terms of its use without exceeding its temperature rating. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.